Hello YouTube, we're back again. <clears throat> so, for this next step, the next phase, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hone in and focus on a three by three area of our drawing. So we're gonna take a, a good look at it and we're gonna get some of that shading and do a value study. Now, one of the things that I've noticed throughout this whole year and actually throughout my whole time teaching is that a lot of people like to rely on their fingers for smudging, smearing, and smudging, and I want you guys to get away from that. So for this portion of shading, I want you to just use your pencil, and that is it, just the pencil. So any marks that can come out of the pencil are valid for this, but don't take your finger and smudge. Don't take your stump, your blending stump, and start smudging, okay? The blending stump obviously is a better choice than your finger. The problem with the finger is that it has oil in it. Blah! Look at my oily fingers. Okay, <clears throat> your fingers have oil in them whether you like it or not, right? It's a natural thing. So when you smear and you smudge with your hands, then you end up trapping your graphite under the oil and it has a smeared muddy look. So we wanna try to avoid that. We wanna use this, yes, the pencil. We wanna use the pencil so that we can get clean, fresh looking marks, fresh looking shading. So here we go, I'm gonna jump in about a three by three section. So I'm gonna just start right here in the middle. That's one of my darker areas. So <clears throat> I think that that would be a pretty nice spot. I gotta look at my rope. My rope has some more detail on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that detail in there. Okay, so that's a pretty good, good place to start right there. <clears throat> All right, so I'm noticing that the shadows are giving me a little bit of a hard time, so I'm gonna try to go like this. All right, I want you to see what I'm doing. So I'm just using my uh, pencil, and I'm just building up my shading just using pencil. Now it's okay to use hatching, it's okay to use cross hatching, right? It's okay to use even scribble technique. Any kind of technique you wanna use is just gonna let you shade just using pure pencil, use it. It doesn't necessarily have to be smooth at this point, what you can do is you can just build it up using those different techniques that we've been practicing ever since beginning, right? When you were in beginning drawing, you guys learned how to hatch, how to cross hatch. Value studies are good to do with those techniques. And we're just doing a little bit of a value study. <clears throat> so like a three by three section. Doesn't have to be too big. But do pay careful attention to your values. What is happening in that zone? Right, what do you see going on? That's what you got to look at. That is important. Once again, if you can, in case you guys are just tuning in and you didn't hear me say don't smudge and smear with your fingers, don't smudge and fear, smear with your fingers. Don't do it. Resist the urge. Resist the temptation. I know it's a hard thing to do, especially in these times. I know you're just there and you just want to smudge the, smudge the drawing. I know. But don't do it. Okay, we should see the strokes that are made by the graphite. We should see how the pencil lays down, right? That's what's gonna make it have a real fresh feel. It's gonna let it be stronger and let it uh, have more presence on the paper. When you smudge it, it just kind of like fades away and kind of becomes a big muddy mess. We don't want a muddy mess. We wanna have a strong drawing. We don't work out our drawings for nothing. We wanna have a strong drawing. I take my drawing to the gym every day. Well, not right now, because of social distancing, but um, on a regular basis, you know. If things are normal, I take my drawings to the gym. But, you know, things aren't normal, so. Here I am. So I'm gonna work out my drawing right here. And I'm gonna do that by not smearing and not smudging. Okay, this is actually one of my darkest values on my drawing, so I'm gonna shade that even darker. Okay, so you can see it's starting to take shape, starting to take form, starting to build. So uh, in here, I'm gonna get a little more value. What? Okay, 
So, as I'm building this up, I'm just gonna keep looking at the same things that I've been looking at, right? It's all about the value. It's all about trying to match that value, capture that value. And I, I wanna remind you guys, this should only be like a three by three section. I'm talking about three inches by three inches, not three feet by three feet, not three meters by three meters. Okay, just like a three by three inch section. So this is about three inches and that's cool. I'm okay with that. And I wanna go about three inches, almost like a square. So I'm just taking my time, building it up little by little, no rush. Okay, so I got a little bit darker value up here. Hopefully the shadows from my hand are not blocking the image, but I'm gonna keep trying to remove it so that you guys can see what's happening there. Don't worry if you guys see any suit sprites. Don't worry, there's plenty of them here. Suit sprites everywhere. If you guys didn't get that reference, I don't know who you are. Okay, I do know who you are. That was a reference from Totoro. The song in the background is a lo-fi hip hop version of a song from Totoro. Or Totoro. Okay, so this is a, a darker zone. I'm gonna, this is a pretty dark shadow. Uh, next to that, it starts to get pretty light. So I'm gonna focus in on that. And just remember, this is all about observation, folks. All about observation. So you should just be going back and checking, checking your image. Look at your image. Your image is your guide. Right? You don't want to just make it all up. You want to take a look at your image every once in a while. You know, I, I look at it probably every five seconds or so, maybe 10, depending on what I'm doing. <clears throat> and let that be your focus. Let that be what guides you as to what is what. You shouldn't be inventing it, really. You should be looking at it and just saying, okay, what's there? Uh, this is in Lou. This is in exchange for doing this in real life. Like if we were in the class, I would have you guys look at the object in real life. But right now we don't have that possibility. So what I'm gonna have you guys do is just look at the photo and do your best to capture what you guys see. Now there's some benefits of having a photo as to real life, right? It's a little less challenging because the, the light is captured in a different way. Then if it was in real life, you don't have to try to decide where it's gonna go, you can see it. It's, it's a little more black and white in a photo than in real life. So to you guys, you're welcome. You're welcome, you, you got a photo to work from. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and check right here on the rope. The rope I think needs to go a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that value in there. And this is gonna be my three by three section. Okay, this is this is about it, I'm almost done. So you see with observation and focus, uh, this didn't take me too long. I don't, I don't know how long it took me, probably about 10 minutes. Okay, now the rope has a little fine texture on it, so I'm gonna go in there and add that little texture in there. You might wanna zoom in. You might wanna zoom in to your photo when you're looking at things like the texture. Okay, because it is a rope, it has a certain kind of woven aspect to it. And I see that it's mostly down that middle section of the rope. You can see a little bit here and there on the sides. Okay, now this is not by any means the end of this, right? This is just a study for now. I might come back and touch it up later. But that is basically what I wanna see for your three by three section shaded 
of this particular drawing. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit. There it is. No smudging, no smearing, no smearing, no smudging. All you see is pure pencil, and that's all we'd use to build it up. So I'm gonna zoom that back out. Okay, there we go. All right, so in the next video, you guys are gonna see the next phase, which is gonna be the revealing. We're gonna see the revealing, the revelation of the object that you guys have been drawing up until this point completely wrapped, so you have no clue what's there. We'll talk more about that in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.